this is Jim Rush with Trenches Technology Magazine. I'm here in Cleveland, Ohio with Sylvain Boissonneau. Uh, we're here on a, a water rehab job for the city of Cleveland. Uh, Sylvai is with Aquapipe and uh, first of all, Sylvai, could you tell us a little bit about the Aquapipe process, uh, how it works? Yes, the uh, Aquapipe process is a, uh, a lining process that we use uh, for the last 10 years in Canada. So we're uh, a CIPP pro process that uh, we've been using and we uh, will line this project here in Cleveland. Uh, uh, we've been lining for the last couple of weeks, so now we're almost done. It's a 4,200 feet uh, job here. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about uh, specifically the process you were telling about the, the liner system and, and how that works? It's a, it's a two jacket liner, a polyester uh, woven li liner that we're going to pull in. Uh, it's made of polyester. The inner jacket is, is uh, lined with a PU membrane to make it watertight. Okay, and this particular job, you mentioned 4,200 feet of uh, six-inch cast iron. Can you just tell us a little bit about uh, the condition of the pipe and you know, why, this, uh, why this job was needed to be done? Well, uh, this is a typical uh, 40 to 60 years old cast iron pipe, which is uh, badly damaged because we found uh, during the inspection a lot of, uh, of uh, saddles, repair saddles. So we know that uh, this, this uh, section had a lot of breaks, so that's the reason the uh, city of Cleveland uh, probably asked uh, Terrace Construction to fix it, and uh, they choose the uh, CIPP or the Aquapipe process to do it. Okay. Uh, you know, the Kieran Place pipe market has been pretty established on the sewer side. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about how you see that market going in the, the water market? Well, um, We've been, uh, we've been so far a million feet of uh, CIPP, uh, uh, the aquapipe installation in Canada and the U.S. and uh, this market is growing really, really fast. There's a lot of demand for that product. So uh, uh, aquapipe, Senexen, uh, decided uh, 10 years ago to go into that market and it's been a good decision because the market is growing really, really fast right now. Okay. Uh, in this particular project, what uh what, what, what kind of prep work do you have to do? I see the, the bypass set up here and uh, you know the excavation pits. Uh, can you just give us a sense for what needs to be done in advance of, of something like this? Well, the preparation steps is uh, very important in, the, uh, in having a nice or a good uh, CIPP installation. So basically the contractor before dig out all the pits, install temporary bypass to maintain water availability to the uh, resident. And uh, from there we, we came in uh, pipe, which was done prior that we arrived. So uh, here they use the uh, scraping system, but uh, any other system can be used, water jetting or, uh, or um, chain scraper, whatever. So after the cleaning is done, we uh, inspect the pipe, install plugs into each house services to make sure we don't plug them with resin, and then we're ready to pull the liner. And after the liner has been installed, we will return and reopen service from within with our robot. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you, what are some of the uh, hindrances, I guess, to the mar water market? I mean, it, it has been a little bit slower uh, than the sewer side. Uh, you know, what, uh, what, what basically is the difference and why the uh, water market is a little bit slower than the, the sewer market to catch on? Um, it's a good question. Uh, Basically, economic, economically wise, you know, not all North America is, is going through a, a crisis right now. So I guess uh, w money is not at, at available as we would like to. But uh, sewer was developed longer than water for any particular reason. I think it's basically because because we had to develop product that would sustain or be suitable for uh, potable water, which took long term to long time to uh, to develop. But uh, uh, now we're catching up with uh, with that demand, and uh, more and more uh, you'll see product uh, uh, that will be re uh, will be uh, suitable for that demand, which is portable water. Okay. Any other uh, projects uh, lined up for the the states? Uh, we're uh, bidding a few jobs right now. We should expect some answers uh, in a few weeks from now. But uh, yes, uh, there's a lot of jobs that are being bid right now throughout uh, to uh, different licensee that we have here in the states. And uh, we should, uh, we are expecting to do more and more jobs in the near future. Yes. Okay. What, what kind of uh, reaction have you had from the uh, the utility owners that have done this type of uh, uh, application for relining? 
Um, very good, very good reaction. Uh, in fact, uh, most of the time, uh, typical comment we receive is uh, how efficient is this process, how easy it is. Uh, it's not disturbing the resident. We're, we're trying to be quiet. Uh, low disturbance for the resident, and at the end, the uh, the product meets his uh, promises. So, uh, very good reaction. Yes, indeed. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, I mean, you can kind of see on this project here. A, a small road, but uh, it's still open to traffic. You've got the services open to uh, to residents. So, have you had much uh, reaction from the, the residents here as as far as the uh, the work and how it's impacted them? Well, uh, yeah, we interact uh, a bit with the resident. Of course, we're in their street for a couple of days, so we had a chance to talk with them. They were quite happy with the fact that uh, we were as low. We were, we were quite as as possible uh, as much as we can uh, make sure that everybody uh, had access to their driveway help them around so uh, good good reception from them and uh, that's basically uh, what we try to do anyway in all of our jobs uh, it's part of our uh, motto to make sure that uh, every time we go on a job site we take care as much as the customer than the resident on the street so okay well thank you very much for talking about the project today and uh, good luck Thank you. Thanks.